Hello, so another video, uh, this as always almost will be also a walkthrough. Um, I need an API, uh, so what I would like to do is to get an API that you can call, you give it an, a picture, uh, we will see how, and then it returns you some kind of either a picture or some kind of string. So let's do that. <coughs> the first thing we need to do is to install first the API. Wait, uh, let me first get here. So I in a previous video we worked on this. So it's a uh, prediction. That's uh, it's an OCR. Sorry. Let's remove this. Let's skip this one. It's an OCR. And if you run it, <coughs> it does a prediction on, on the picture and it gives you the text. So I want to create an API that returns this and then replace maybe this part of the the OCR by something else. You can of course replace it with by whatever uh, whatever algorithm or machine learning part you want. So we need to install pip uh, first API install uvcon and we'll just copy this. Oh yeah, as as you saw, I'm just following the documentation. So here we say that on this path, uh, send this back, execute this function and send this back on this path, uh, get this value and uh, send back this result. So let, let's run it and you will run it. So we need to do this. I will do it here. So I think it doesn't work. Uh, there is no main. It's OCR that. Yes, now it should be running. So if I go into localhost, how much is it? Eight thousand. Can see that we have word because we are here at the root. So now let's open this. I don't, I don't know if I have VS Code. I will just use this. I need to get. Do I have VS Code? No, I don't think I do. So now we don't want this. We will copy this here and <coughs> and for we will remove we will move the return back here uh, and we will return result. So let's see, there is no error here. Does this work? Exactly. So you can see that we, ret we returned an array of predictions coming from it. Took a bit of time because prediction takes a bit of time, but uh, returned an array of prediction coming from this picture. But we want something dynamic. So let's see. Oh, and you have this. This is very useful. So when you want to debug, usually you just go docs here. And this way you can get whatever uh, API call. You can get all of them. 
so we will do this let's see how how to do this so we want to give a parameter and we will change uh, up here we will change we don't want the root we want um, uh, OCR for example or easy OCR if I save this it reloads it and now we have it here but we here we, you can see we don't we don't have any parameter so here in this function I will tell it I would like a picture yeah that would be called base 64 picture I know it's not the Python Pythonic way of doing things of naming variables but uh, and we want it to be mandatory uh, but uh, we will do it this way because I'm used to doing it this way. So easy OCR, and here we have a variable. And now I will convert image to base64. So you, base64 is a format that uh, allows uh, transforms an image or file into a string, and then you can transfer it as a string. But it takes, I think, one third more space because of the way uh, Base64 uh, is built. But it's very convenient because it's very easy to to use. So let's do this and show code, and then no. It's not done yet, I guess. Yeah, the, the, this website I know. Here it's faster. We can copy it and then we can use it in the fast API. So we can we can do this. And what we can do on this side. Is print here print base 64 picture and then allow it to reload now it's done and then here we can see it went through it now it's doing the prediction on still the hard-coded one and we got the result somewhere What's this? Here, response body. Oh, this is the request. I don't know if this is the best way of doing it. I don't think so. I think the best way is to give it in the body of a <coughs> of the call but first let's let's change one thing so here we will do a post a fast api post uh, data request body So this is the, this is another thing. This is uh, I forgot the name data model, but uh, that's not what I'm uh, what I would like to do. Fast API post image.
Okay, we could do this too. Okay, we will not we will not waste any time. It's it's not the most efficient way, but it will work. Let's just go straight to the goal. Uh, <coughs> I forgot what was the next goal. So we have it here, we have the results, now we need to decode it, I'll just reuse this. <coughs> and then I will print, so I will remove this, and I will print the type of this. No, 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 I know the type, it's this. to uh, NumPy, I think uh, easy uh, OCR takes a NumPy as input. So we have uh, here Decode bytes and then we q equals that and print q let's save this yeah it's really not the best way of doing things uh, inconsistent where jpeg recovery Print Q here. Why is it inconsistent? Oh, for some reason, it's mixing spaces with. Give me a second, I will install uh, VS Code. So I thought it might be interesting to install uh, code. So I, I download it and then commit plus X. And, and now I need to give it to code. And then I can in, try to install it. Okay, I need to sudo. So done, uh, then I can just run it. Oh, why do I have two of them? Just, just load the file, please.
there was an error still. This was not allowed. Oh, get, yes, of course, to post here. Because we have updated it earlier. File data is not defined. Where is file data? Here. Page 64 is not defined. I guess I need to import it. Oh, this is a mess. NP is not defined, of course. Problem. So it's big in here at Q. What if I remove this? What if I just MP array? Okay, interesting. It worked well. Um, I mean, it, it worked well. It uh, print result. It didn't work well, actually. So here I just day sixty four and then what I delete everything. And then uh, image equals dot decode base sixty four and then print uh, the type of image.
Did I close? Did I reuse? String has no attribute to decode. the string it uh, it's whatever this is okay let's let's do it this way I think it's better I need to convert the string to to a base 64 and then decode it as well. Okay. Can I what if instead of giving it here image instead of giving it this we give it this? Will it work? We need to print the results. Oh, it did print the result. Oh, this is the worst idea. Wait, let, let me fix that because I can't I can't debug with this. Oh, it did. It did work. Okay, at least we've got this one. I just need to fix this then. So, uh, fast API post data post. Just, just see post. Um, What if we do that? Just remove everything. And so, uh, yeah, we, uh, in my opinion, it's a bit overkill for just for this to create a whole class and uh, 
how to define it. Uh, to define, uh, how is it called? Um, DPO. No, I forgot whatever. And then. Here we remove or put the image here. So we want an image. No, we want this as an image. Uh, not put one here. Can you remove this? This model is not defined, of course. Okay, it did manage to import, it did manage to. Oh no. can put so this JSON was objectified and uh, it's way cleaner of course everything's better this way but uh, so we created the class and this way we can easily access the sub sub elements so if uh, I, will, I will show you I will actually do it otherwise it will not work so this will not work what will work will be so here we will just call this image class we will rename this image class and then we will call base uh, equals image class dot uh, image string this should work Saved. Let's let's replace this by this and execute it. Image is not defined. Where is image is not defined? Image class. Okay, this is this is clean. So now it's in the body that the that the OCR predicts. This way we can even have multiple images, which we will not, but we could. We can even embed a bit more information. I don't know if you want other uh, language, for example, you could add uh, here la language uh, equals string, and then in the reset here, in here, up, if I refresh, if I save it, refresh. it not accepting a new variable here basically did that maybe I need some command it thinks this is a function or something no, here they didn't do anything. Oh, I know, maybe it's this space. Still not.
crazy. I'm allowed to do that. What? What's the difference? Uh, now, if I remove this, still working. If I remove this, still no problem. If I add, replace this, still no problem. What if it's a string now? What's the difference between this? Maybe this and this. I don't know, but uh, anyways, if you are in this case, you can put, for example, here uh, the image, and then here you can put the end so that you can have a condition here to say if. Uh, en that means use this neural network if it's not the case that means use this see here you have we have fr we could put actually we could do it here so let's uh, I can put a default value equals let's put en as default value and then here we put uh, image class dot len, len. so if we don't give it anything it should still be able to predict let's see so we give it in here and then execute and there are no errors and and we've got a result and you see there are no no accents uh, but if I say here fr it should predict the accent so here you can see in Chateauroux there is no accent above the A in Aeroport uh, neither and here you can see Chateau has an accent and Aeroport has another one uh, now let's see if I don't put anything if I just go this way execute oh uh, okay it's just taking string it's taking this okay let's let's try something different it's taking this uh, if I remove it, just put this. It did not accept it. So I don't know what this is for, but it doesn't really work in my opinion. Uh, what we can do is uh, if image class dot uh, language um. <coughs> I can just make okay. equals uh, equals string so then image class dot lan equals and so replace it by by the default one if it's not string you, you don't don't do anything so let's see how this works if if this works yes it does perfect one more thing you could do is to 
try all of this and then accept uh, accept e I guess print e and then return error an error has occurred this way if, if, it, if it cannot predict for some reason it will display an error uh, voila we can also return a picture if we want we can can return whatever we would like here i hope that this was helpful Thanks.